Hi everyone, welcome to course 6P on another kind of network models. This time for analysis and describing the structures of networks, which is called ERGM, an acronym for Exponential Random Graph Models. So in this course we will see the principle of the functioning of these models, the terms of these models, and what kind of results it uh, produces when we try to model a network with ERGM and we will end by some variants. So, um, briefly, why model a network? Modeling a network is, uh, is like summarizing the network to its most salient features. And by analyzes, uh, analyzing these features and look for the process that are, that are at the origin of these features, we learn about the process that have formed the network and that are responsible to its to its structure. So ERGM is a statistical model for describing and analyzing the structure of a network and it considers for a network G of vertices V and edges E that, is, that it is the output of a random network formation process that make networks of approximately the size of E links among the size of V nodes. And in fact, this research space, so the set of all possible graphs, is tremendous. Uh, this, is, this size is given by this expression. And here I put the example of the number of different graphs for 30 nodes. So you can, you can see that this number is uh, far too, too high to test every possible network configuration, even for a small node set. So ERGM models decide to reduce this research space and consider graph to be summarized by some network statistics that are the predictors of its structures. These statistics are uh, of various kinds. They are function of the links themselves. Sometimes they are dyadic independent or dyadic dependent. Some of them are nodal attribute effects. Some of, some of them are link attribute effects. They consider some patterns like stars, cycles, paths, and so on. In fact, there is a lot of different terms to be included in ERGM models. To simplify, you can see ERGM as a network generation recipe. And if you follow this recipe, uh, it may lead you to the observed network. But as for any recipe when you cook, if the recipe is precise and stable, the result is close to the observation. Uh, but if the result is roughly described, the result you have may vary from uh, the observation that you have on the cover of the um, book of cooking. So, an ERGM is a Markov model whose probability distribution is defined by this expression. So, the left side of uh, this equation is simply the probability to observe the network configuration small x here with a, par a parametrization of theta. Theta is a vector of some different parameter values. And these parameters are the parameters of the network generation process. So this is the probability to observe the network that we have and that we want to analyze. This probability under the parametrization theta is equal to the left side to the right side of the equation and uh, this um, formula is an exponential family distribution which is normalized by a constant uh, in order to have a probability uh, between uh, 0 and 1. So inside this probability expression SK is the network statistics K so it's um, an element that describes the structures, that describes the effect of something on the structure of the network. And we have several uh, network statistics. We have K uh, statistics. And uh, these statistics affect the probability of the formation of the links of the network. In fact, these statistics are the ingredient of the recipe we are looking for in ERGM. Theta k are unknown parameters, the weights, in fact, of this linear combination of statistics. These are the parameters of the network statistics SK. So 
to follow our metaphor of uh, cooking recipe, theta k, so the vector of uh, parameter, is the proportion of the ingredient you have to mix in order to have your network. So this is the probability distribution we are looking for that will describe our network uh, to the extent of some network statistics. So the probability distribution p theta of uh, capital X being equal to small x can be rewritten as conditional log odds with a log it expression. And um, for some various uh, reason, this expression is um, very more easy to deal with when you want to try to find the parameters theta k. Because instead of considering the probability to observe your network in the space of the networks that are compatible with your network statistics, you only consider the probability to observe one edge between two nodes i and j. In fact, this expression is the probability to observe your network x given the complement of xij. xij is the random variable of the presence of a link between a node i and j, and the complement of uh, this variable is every other link variable than ij. So, in fact, this is the probability to observe a change between uh, between the state of the link between i and j before and after uh, a network evolution process. And since you take the logit of uh, this expression, uh, this part of the equation uh, rewritten as a linear combination of theta k, the same parameters as before, and delta ij of skx. So, this is the log, the log odd of uh, seeing the edge ij to uh, exist, given the rest of the network. And this part is the change in the network statistics when you change the existence of the link between i and j. And this expression is um, very e more easy to, to fit um, with simulation. If you remember the previous course on um, network evolution process modeling, you remember that uh, we use Monte Carlo Markov chain techniques to, to approach a distribution. Here in ERGM, we, want, we will use MCSC, MCMC estimation to find what are the, the parameters theta k uh, required to fit the observed network. And because we have uh, rewritten the probability distribution into this expression, um, we, we may use a logistic regression of this expression by using something called the maximum pseudo-likelihood estimation, sometimes uh, abridged in MPLE. It's a, com it's a statistic techniques to make some logistic regression. And here we have a logit expression, so to estimate theta k, we use logistic regression. Uh, the idea behind this uh, regression is to generate randomly a population of networks by using some parameters from the statistic, drawn at random, sampled at random, and assess the similarity of this population of network with the observed network. If the population of networks is centered around the observed network, the model is quite good. In fact, it is good to describe the observed network statistics. We have found a recipe that uh, exhibits the same network statistics than the observed network. In fact, in, fa in fact, we have found the potential proportion of the recipe. We have found the potential values of theta k. But the difficulty is, as usual, that we don't know uh, what the parameters theta k may look like. So we use Markov chain, chains uh, to approach them by simulation. Okay, so this concludes the first part of uh, the course on ERGM models. In the next one, we will see what are the terms of ERGM models, what are the ingredients that we can choose to make our recipe. Thank you.